you gotta you gotta do that for me because if you don't i'm gonna stop again what's up calvary i'm back yes i am back finally after a very long hiatus i'm sorry i know i got some explaining to do so that's what this video is about today i'm gonna tell you guys exactly why i quit youtube for almost a year and where we're going why i'm back why i came back what we're gonna do now that i'm back um yeah, I'm going to be doing a little beat. I got a baby shower, a virtual baby shower that I'm attending in about an hour. So this is going to go pretty quick. First things first, why did I quit YouTube? Well, I quit because it was a lot of shit going on. That is really the gist of it, but I am going to go in depth and let you know what happened. For starters, um, I really stopped doing a lot of filming. Uh, we have, of course, we have coronavirus. So that's going on. And I really stopped filming probably around like March. And that was uh, more so because of the social injustices that were going on. Um, not that, that that's when that first started, but the attention to it and the things that were going on, like it just really took a toll on me mentally um, as a creator, you know, as a black creator, I just feel like I didn't have the energy or the mental space to want to sit down and create. And this was, you know, in early March. My channel was really only a couple of months old at that part. I just started my channel in September of 2019. So when all of that started, um, with the demonstrations and the protests and everything and George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, um, those situations happen. My channel was only a couple months old and, you know, I hadn't gotten to the point where I was really planning a lot of videos prior to filming them. It was more so like I had some ideas written down. I would turn the camera on and go and I wasn't consistent with my content which is something that I wanted to start doing in 2020, but things just didn't unfold in a way that that was possible. So I put up a message on my Tom the Queen Facebook page. If you're not following the Facebook page, I'm going to make sure I do leave the link down below in the description box. Please make sure you follow it because these type of updates is where I post this kind of stuff. Um, so I put um, this little message here on the time the queen facebook page and basically just saying you know i don't feel the need to really create the type of content that this channel is centered around which is makeup fashion um lifestyle traveling blogs that type of things and so i didn't feel the need to be posting that kind of stuff i really wanted to focus on what was going on in the world around me get more information about those type of things, see how I can help and, you know, everything like that. So I knew I was going to take a couple weeks, you know, I knew I was going to take a couple weeks off, which I wasn't posting like every week at that time anyway, but now I am. Videos will be coming out every Sunday at 5 p.m. So I knew I was going to take a few weeks off, um, but things you know, lasted quite longer than what, you know, they typically do when these type of things happen. I'm glad they did. Let me start there. Let me just say that first. I'm glad they have lasted this long and the attention to these issues are is lasting this long because it seemed like ever since I can remember, you know, something like that happens and the world, fo the, the city or the state or the country sometimes focuses on that particular issue for a few weeks and then you don't hear about it anymore life goes on and that's that i'm glad that the attention has been on on social injustices systematic that systemic racism and police brutality 
things of that nature. I'm glad that the attention has been on it as long as it has at this time. But I knew I was going to be gone for a few weeks. During that time, of course, we had the pandemic going on and I was doing a lot of overtime for my job. Like I still work a regular nine to five job. I got a kid to feed um, and myself. I'm, I had a lot going on with my job. I was working a lot of overtime. Like I was working like 80 hours a week. I was literally working, uh, like I said, I work eight, 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 I work 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And during this time, I was working like 7 a.m. to like 10 p.m. So, and mind you, I still, I'm a single parent. I still have a son that I have to take care of in addition to that. And he's been in school for the most part throughout the pandemic. His school has only had to completely shut down once. Um, but uh, for the most part, he's been in school every week. He only goes part-time because he's in preschool now. Um and it's just hard to think, like, when this all first started, my son was only two, and now he's about to be four, and we are still in this mess. But anyway, um, he's in preschool now, um, and so he is only going part-time at this moment in time. He goes a few days a week. And so I'm still having to be a parent, working all our time and such. So it was a lot going on. Um, now I know everybody has had a lot going on throughout this pandemic and I don't by any means feel like what I have had going on is more important or, um, you know, more hectic or anything like that than what anybody else has had going on. I'm just telling my story. I'm ready to tell my story. And I'm telling you guys, I feel like I owe the Calvary an explanation. So, so needless to say, um, I didn't have the time um, nor the energy to film a lot or, you know, be creative and all that stuff. Um, so then I had a friend that moved in with me um while her home was being built she built a house congratulations to her and she moved in with me while her house was finished and being built so she would have to you know renew her lease for a month to month type situation because that's expensive the my friend came to uh live with me while she was getting her house built and when I create, when I film and stuff, I like to be by myself. Like right now, Tyler is with his grandmother, um, having my mommy free, mommy duty free weekend. And I'm getting a lot of filming done. Like I plan to shoot like four videos this weekend. So four or five videos this weekend for you guys. Because when I'm coming back, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Like I can't do that dance, the little TikTok dance. Oh, I did it. I did it. Anyway, I'm coming back. Um, or should I say I am back? But yeah, I plan to film like five videos this weekend alone. And it's hard to do when it's somebody else in your space, you know? So, and I'm using this, um, pause. I'm using this Born This Way, Born This, Too Faced, Born This Way, 24-hour undetectable matte foundation. This is my first time using it. I see a lot of people using it in the day look bomb. So it's my first time using it today. Um, but yeah, it's hard for me to create when there's somebody else in my space. Um, I don't like to be watched while I'm filming. Not saying that she would have or anything like that. And I think I did actually film one video while she was here. Um, but, and that was the Boohoo haul video that I have up on my channel. If you haven't actually watched that video, I'll leave a link in the cards above for you to go back and watch it. Um, and she didn't bother me at all, but it's just, you know, it's me. Like, I like to 
be in my own element. I like to be able to think to, through my videos and things like that. And plus, she's a supporter. Like, she watches my videos. She's a subscriber to my video. Like, I feel like I'm cheating her. If she already know what's going to happen in the video, then she ain't going to watch it. And I want sis to watch it. And I want her to watch the whole video. So, sis, you know who you are. If you're watching this, make sure you watch the whole video. Don't skip through my video because I know how you do. Yeah. She, um... She was living here, so me being who I am, like I just didn't want to film. I don't like filming while somebody else is here, not even my son, unless he's gonna be in a video or I'm vlogging or something like that. I couldn't film like I wanted to. Coronavirus, racism, what else? Oh yeah. Um, I thought I was sick. So I went to the doctor and at this time, my primary care doctor, who was my primary care doctor at this time, um, he thought that I possibly had lupus. Now, I heard lupus and I immediately heard cancer. And this is the first time a lot of people will be hearing this, including my family and some of my friends. So I'm definitely going to go from start to finish with this. I'm not going to leave any, any information out or leaving anybody hanging because I don't want anybody to call me and be like, you could have told me you had no. Just watch and listen. So I thought I, the doctor thought I had lupus. And we were, I had a lot of appointments and, you know, just doing a lot of research on it because at that time, you know, I didn't know a lot about the condition and what all it included and entailed and what I should expect. I, I heard lupus and I immediately heard cancer. So, um, yeah, that's where I was with that. Oh, yeah, this, this foundation is bomb. But anyway, um, yeah, I heard lupus, I heard cancer. So, while I'm waiting for follow-up appointments and stuff, of course, we have coronavirus going on. And I'm in North Carolina, so we stayed in stage four for a long, uh, phase four for a long, or phase one. Whichever one is the complete lockdown. We stayed there for a long time. So, um, being in complete lockdown, my primary care doctor at that time was... Um, the office was located inside of my job and my job was the office location was shut down. So being that the, the, my job was shut down, we were working from home, but being that my job location was shut down, that mean all the businesses in my job location was shut down, which means the doctors that work in the doctor's office went back to the hospital or a private practice somewhere or what have you. The doctor I was seeing just stopped working. So I didn't have a primary care physician in the middle of trying to figure out whether or not I have lupus. So I had to find another primary care. Um, having to find that while still worrying about whether or not I have lupus, not knowing what to expect, trying to take care of myself the best way I can without having a medical professional kind of guide me on the journey of doing that. It was stressful. So needless to say, I was stressed. Like, your girl was stressed. Um, and not telling anybody in my family or my friends because I don't want them to worry about me. And I know that's probably not the best way to handle that type of situation. But that's how I am. Not saying that it's right. Um, but it's something that I'm working on with being open about those type of things. Was trying to find a new primary care. Trying to take care of myself the best way I possibly know how. Working overtime, being a mom, trying not to get coronavirus, being a black woman in America. I didn't have the black the I didn't have the black. I didn't have the mental capacity to create anything. So and then for those of you who don't know, I'm also a uh social media strategist and creator for other another organization and I've been working with this organization since 2019 on and off but so when they had their annual conference this year it was virtual 
And being that I am the one who creates all their branding, their digital branding and marketing and stuff, like that put a lot on my plate. Um, I did have um, someone that I worked with initially this year, like well, in 2020. Um, in 2019, I did it by myself um, for the most part. And then in 2020, I did have someone that I worked with. Um, but she ended up leaving uh, not too long after the conference was over. And so then everything that she was doing, in addition to what I was doing, was all on me. Um, and because this is this organization is used to doing everything in person and now having to switch to digital, it's kind of double so because I'm having to figure it out for them and, you know, do it, execute. So plan it and execute for a national organization. And I was only expected to work through their annual conference, which um, would have, which ended in August, but my contract got extended. So now I'm working two jobs, plus I'm working overtime at my primary job, being a mom, at home teacher because now uh Tyler school this is around the time that they closed down completely and it was just a lot like I ain't even getting ready to go through all that list all over again like yeah I'm not gonna got not gonna do it so yes it was a lot and I'm still dealing with my health or what have you found another primary care physician um and I'm skipping some stuff I'll go back to but I did because I don't want people to worry <laughs> I know how I am. I know how my friends and family are who are going to watch this video. I don't want people to worry. So I'm going to go ahead and skip to that part. I don't have lupus. I have an extreme vitamin D deficiency, which apparently a lot of black people have. But mine, I think like the level is supposed to be like a 12 and I'm at like a three. So I have a extreme vitamin D deficiency. And on top of me being anemic and... I'm, I'm, this Chevy is heavy, baby. I'm overweight, so that in itself, I'm not unhealthy. I'm a health. I'm healthy as an ox. Like I'm, I'm good. But being overweight does bring its own challenges, and so yeah, that's why they thought I had lupus. Um, but I don't have lupus. Extreme vitamin D deficiency. That's all it is. So I did find another primary care physician and she's been awesome. But um, that was a process. And thank God, thank God above. My son has been healthy. My son has been prospering. My son has been amazing. And he hasn't been sad about having to stay at home. He's gotten bored and he said that he wanted to go back to school a couple times. Um, when he's had to stay out, but for the most part, he's been good. He's made mommying easy for me. A lot of people look at me and say, and I'm, I'm humble in when I'm saying this because I don't feel like it's true, but I've had more than one person come to me and tell me this. I've had more than three people come to me and tell me this. So I appreciate it and I'm humble in saying this, but I've had people tell me like you make mom, you make being a single mom look easy. Baby, it is not by any means. There are times when I cry, I get in the shower and I just cry. I take four or five showers a day because I feel like I need to cry. Like, so he doesn't have to see it. Um, because there's so much going on in the world that he doesn't understand. And He's not even attentive to. He doesn't even know to pay attention to. I'm scared about it. I'm scared for his future as a black man. But that's for me to worry about. And it's not for me to project those worries onto him. So I remove myself from his spirit and his energy space when I'm starting to have those feelings of anxiety. Um, But he has made being... A mom a single mom easy for me if I if I look like this is easy it's because of him and God it ain't nothing that I've done had to say that 
But yes, um, and I, I had to take time to grow to that place to be able to say that. So that's another thing, working on my mental health, I had to take time and do that because I wasn't taking time for me. Like I was giving, giving, giving. I don't mean financially, I mean like spiritually, emotionally. I was giving, giving, giving to a lot of people. I ain't gonna say a lot, but more people than who was giving to me. And so I had to take some time to get back to me and confront some issues that I feel like I have because I am a strong believer. And y'all know I've said it more times than once on my channel. I'm a big advocate for mental health and making sure your mental health is where it needs to be. And so I had to take the time out to do that and start back seeing my therapist. I never stopped seeing her, um, but I did stop like seeing her on a consistent basis. So I had some issues that I needed to confront and I'm still doing the work on those, but I'm in a better place with them because I've acknowledged them. The first step is acknowledging it and I hadn't acknowledged it. So now I have, and now I'm working through them. Um, and I had to take the time out to do that because I couldn't get up here and give y'all advice through these girl chats, chat with me while I do my makeup type thing. And I ain't in the best space myself, you know, so I don't like to present myself to other people half-assed. So I have to do what I had to do, do the work I had to do with my therapist to get me where I needed to be. So, I have been doing that. Um, what else has happened? Oh, um, and then with me just not being in a mental space to feel like I can create things, I'm not ever, and since when I say ever, I mean never, gonna come up here and put out some bullshit. Like, that's what Naisha Nicole is not going to do on this here channel. Because I see people, and I ain't calling no names and I ain't talking about nobody. I'm just talking about what I'm talking about. I see creators just put out shit just for the sake of staying consistent. And yes, consistency is important. And I have missed y'all dearly. But I'm not going to get up here and just put out some bullshit just for the sake of saying I put a video out. I'm not going to do it. If I don't have anything to say, I don't have anything to do, guess what? Y'all won't hear from me this week. I'll be back next week. Be blessed. Like, that's, I'm not going to bore y'all to death with no bullshit. Now, you might not be interested in the topic that I'm talking about. But that, that don't mean that the content itself is bullshit. And I was having a conversation with another creator, Lil Sis. I'll leave her um, her channel information down below in the description box as well. And she was saying like she hit a lull as she hit a lull too, and she couldn't, she didn't feel like she had the mental capacity or the ideas to create anything on her channel. And she was like, you know, really having a hard time with it. And I just left her a little comment on her Facebook because she posted it on Facebook. And I was like, I feel you. But the thing about it is, that's your channel, boo-boo. That's your channel, baby. If you don't feel like putting anything out, don't. If you don't feel like the content that you're putting out is, is quality, then don't. Because at the end of the day, if you don't feel like it's quality, you're going to look back at it, you're going to hate it, and you're going to hate yourself for putting it out. So don't do it. And I had to follow my own advice. Because if I don't feel like the content that I have is quality, then I'm not going to put it out. Now, when I did put out that Boohoo video, yes, I felt like it was quality content. It's the only reason I went ahead and posted it. But honestly, I was just doing it to give myself a push to try and get back into creating. Because I wasn't. I really was not in the space to that I felt created. That I felt like, you know, I could do this. I didn't feel like I could. Oh, yeah, by the way, the um, eyeshadow base that I just used is the P. Louise base, and it's the color Rumor. 
I'll also leave a link down below in the comments for this because this is like the third time that I've used this and I love it. Like I don't even really pick up my other ones that much anymore, but I love this. So I'll leave it down in the description box. But yeah, I didn't feel like that the, um, the content that I was thinking of in my head, I didn't feel like it would be quality. So y'all won't go see it if it wasn't quality oh the boohoo video um yeah like if you go back and you look at that video i didn't say anything like i am right now like not live but in the moment talking like it was a voiceover video because i didn't feel like showing my face like it ain't it wasn't a given what it's supposed to be given okay there you have it it wasn't gonna give what was supposed to have been given periods who so yeah, um, did a voiceover for that video. That's the only reason that I put that out. Um, but yeah, I didn't feel like I was gonna have any real quality content and I wasn't gonna put out bullshit. So, and I know like this pandemic has been hard on everybody having to be home 24 seven, not been able to go nowhere, especially people who are introverts, but I really like me. Like I like me a lot. <laughs> So I haven't had a problem with that. That hasn't been my issue. Um, yes, I do miss going out. I do miss getting cute to go out and, and do things. But as far as like not being able to be around people and stuff, I haven't had an issue with that because I like y'all. I love my Calvary. I love my friends and my family, but I don't have a problem with just sitting and being to myself. Like I'm okay with it just being me and my son from time to time. I actually prefer that a lot of the times, actually. Yeah. I'm an introvert. Like, that. <laughs> let's just call a spade a spade. I'm an introvert to the fullest capacity. And a lot of people don't understand that, and I get it. Especially extrovert. Extra, extroverts? Y'all know how I am with words sometimes. Um, they don't really understand the whole seclusion being equating peace to some people and that's fine but i won't have a problem with explaining it to you by way of putting my phone on do not disturb and yeah <laughs> talking to you when i get back from peace like that's just how i am um, and then going back to making quality content, like I started to also see, so during the time that I wasn't making videos, I would at least go back and watch my own videos from time to time, because if I'm not going to support myself, who else is going to support me? So yes, I do watch my own videos. Um, but I was noticing in my videos, a lot of times I wasn't giving y'all the right person. I wasn't giving y'all the full me. I wasn't giving y'all the true me. I'm, I haven't gotten up here and lied about anything. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is a lot of times in my videos, especially like the vlogs and stuff like that, I was trying to be, y'all know I love me some Jackie Ina. I'm using Sis Palette right now. I was trying to be on that level. Like I was portraying super influencer mega youtube star i was trying to be on that level because you know you act as what you want to be that's that's where i would love to get to at some point with this but it's not where i'm at right now and i wasn't like going broke over anything or anything like that but as far as like the attitude and um you know the just the vibe i was giving off it wasn't the real me just trying to be so dang politically correct and making sure I say the right things. And uh, would Jackie Ina do that? Would Aaliyah J do this? Like, that's not me. And I don't, I ain't worried. I can't worry about would the next influencer do this? Would the next uh, YouTuber, blogger, vlogger, whatever do that? Like, this is my channel. And I have to do things the way I want to do them on my channel. And so, I don't know if you guys tell a difference in this video or not, or, you know, but I don't, it'll probably most definitely come through in future videos at least, 
I'm not doing that no more. Like you're, this is the queendom and we're going to act a certain way in the queendom. Uh, well, I am. You act how you, how you normally act, but I'm going to be normal. I'm going to be me. I'm going to be Naisha Nicole. And that's just that on that. Like I'm not, even if I do, words matter. Even when I do get on that level, like a Jackie Ina, like an Aaliyah J, like a Tierra Walker, even when I do get on that level, I still want to be me. I don't want to act like them. So, yeah. I had to reevaluate some things in that aspect as well. Um, now, I have, however, still been posting content on TikTok every now and then. Like, I ain't no heavy TikTok. I don't post every day. Um, but I have been posting over there. So follow me on TikTok. <laughs> Link is down in the description box. Oh yeah, follow me on TikTok too. But um, yeah, I still just want to be true to myself. I want to be able to show y'all the real me. And like I said previously, um. I got to work on being vulnerable enough to do that and open enough to do that. So I'm working on that. And I hope I like really get to a point where I can do that with you guys on this channel because that's my goal and still provide quality content. Oh, in addition to all of this going on um, and back to being vulnerable with you guys and everything, my skin did not like me. <laughs> throughout this pandemic and I don't know if it's you know the whole vitamin D thing or what but my skin was like girl bye throughout this whole pandemic girl she was not happy she was angry she was very much go to sleep with two uh two pimples wake up with five she was very much hyperpigmentation on 10 like sis was angry so I didn't feel like I could get up here and perform um with my skin looking like that so again no videos because like how can i get up here and make videos about skincare and makeup and my face all spotty and all that kind of stuff like who gonna listen to me with that? And it wasn't, let me let me set the record straight while I'm talking about it. It wasn't the products that I was using. The products worked fine. I wasn't consistent with the products and the regimen. Like I would go two or three days without doing my regimen. Like yes, I would wash my face, but it would just be a wash my face and go. Like a uh, literal wash my face and go. Wash and go on my face. Yeah, like it wasn't my um, products. I'm still using the products, but I'm using them better. I'm using them more consistently, and I see a huge difference um, in my skin. With all that being said, like I've just been really focusing on building my craft, building myself, getting my ideas written down before I get up here and start shooting. And um, I have stuff planned for y'all through August. Like, I'm so happy to be back. I'm so happy to be in a better mental space. Um, my friend has moved out into her own home. So, um, and we made it. We're still friends. Because, <laughs> you know, you can't live with everybody. So, um, yeah. We made it. And... So I'm back to have when I do get an opportunity to just be by myself if Tyler's in school or if um, he's with his grandmother, then grandparents, whether that be maternal or paternal grandmother, um, I can get up here and film. I can do, I can vlog for certain things. I can let you know what's going on with me, give you guys updates and everything so i'm excited to where we're about to go as a calvary because y'all going with me and i appreciate like i really do 
As you can see, I'm still living in this loud ass apartment complex. Anyway, I'm excited for you guys to go along with me on this journey to coming back. Um, do me a favor right now. If you have made it this far in the video and you're not subscribed, please go ahead and join the Calvary and subscribe. Like, we would love to have you here. And I don't want you guys to miss out on any of the new content that I'm about to bring. Because I'm about to I'm about to do some big things on my channel. At least I feel like they're big things, you know. Again, just being me. Like, I'm excited. I hope you're excited. I'm excited. But, about to do some things on the channel want you to come along with me don't want you to miss out so go ahead and click the bell as well when you do click the subscribe button um so you get an alert when i do upload new content and like i said i will be uploading new content every sunday at 5 p.m going forward um yeah so go ahead and click that bell click the subscribe button while you're down there, go ahead. You made it this far in the video, so obviously you like something about it. Go ahead, do me a favor and click that like button as well because I can't, I don't want to get back in the space where I was before. I feel like I'm not creating quality content. If y'all not liking the videos, if y'all not commenting on the videos, I don't know that you actually like it. I don't know that this is the type of content I should continue putting out so you gotta you gotta do that for me because if you don't i'm gonna stop again and i don't want to stop i like you too but i'm not gonna waste my time and even though i do this and i like doing this for me i still want to do this for me with the expectation that i'm doing something that people like so help me out like the videos that you like comment on the videos if you have any thoughts whatsoever you don't have to wait till i say and comment down below um, comment. If you got a comment about something that I'm saying, you can leave me three, four comments. That's fine. Talk to me while I talk to you. So that next time in the next video, I might acknowledge what you said. You never know. Especially if you have a YouTube channel. If you talk to me on my social media platforms, whether it be here, Instagram, Facebook, where it's Snapchat, whatever. If you talk to me, I might just, just like I did little sis. Like, I might just say something about your channel and leave your channel down below, too. This is a community. Like, we're here to support each other. <laughs> we are here to support each other. Um, and if, even if you don't have a YouTube channel, you're not heavy on social media or anything like that. Like, okay, I won't shout you out, but I'll talk back to you. I'll say something to you. That's what you do when you talk to people. Talk to me. I talk back and I don't bite. So this is something else that you guys haven't seen me use before on the channel. And this is the Il Maquillage F-U-C-K on Flawless Foundation um, Concealer. Um, I know you guys haven't seen me use it before. But it is something that I started to use and love. Um, it was really good. It covers very well. But yeah, like if you have a brand, I, again, like I'm just excited to be back. I'm excited to continue creating quality content. I'm excited to interact with my followers and especially those of you who have brands. Since if you have a clothing line, if you have a wig line, if you have a nail polish line, like typically I get my nails done, but... <clears throat> It don't matter. Like, drop me a line. Tell me you want a shout out. We'll work it out. I ain't working for free no more because that's something else that happened to me while um, I was on hiatus is that I was working with a brand uh, on Instagram that I had promoted some of their stuff and they were supposed to pay me for promotion and they didn't. And so I had to change some things up. So I do now have... Um, I have some different standards for that kind of stuff. And not all promotion has to be paid promotion as far as like, I'm getting a check. I'm getting a physical check from you. But we can work something out. You know, you do for me, I do for you type thing. It doesn't always have to be monetary. So we could do some, some swapping if you have a brand. Um, I'm not opposed to that. 
if you want to send me product and you don't want to pay me for it, but you, you know, have some overstock in your inventory and you just want to, you want somebody to help you with marketing, send me some products. We can talk about it. I'm not, but yeah, I want to work with you guys. I want to communicate with y'all. I want to, I want this to be a community going forward and we can lean on each other and support each other. If you're a creator or if you're a business owner or something like that, um, that's what it's all about. We got to help each other succeed. But yeah, I'm back in right now. <laughs> I'm almost late for this baby shower and I got to finish up this look. So I'm going to go ahead and hop on off. Future Naisha will come back and talk to you guys about the rest of this video later once I get dressed and everything. But I got to go. So yeah. All right, guys, so this is future Naisha, all finished up with the baby shower and my look. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I think I finished everything that I was saying. I hope I did because um, I don't really remember where I kind of cut the video off at uh, previously. However, like I said, I'm excited for all the new things that I have coming up. If you are uh, a brand owner, business owner, a content creator you want to try and do some joint videos uh, my email address is down below in the description box as well I'll be happy to work with you of course you know content depending depends on what you do over on your channel yeah. I love each and every one of you thank you so much guys for staying subscribe to my channel if you've been here from the very beginning I love you from the bottom of my heart I really do um, yeah, let's go ahead and get ready for this ride, y'all. So, again, thank you. I don't know what else to say besides it's time to clean, y'all. <laughs>